Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa. Cheers. Mm. So wherever you are, I hope you are staying nice and cool. It's summer. We have just uh, overcome a little heat wave this last week where we live and whew, the heat just takes it out of me. <laughs> like I, I tend not to do a lot of outdoor workouts, like riding my bike a lot or doing a lot of trail running when it's in the high nineties because it's just not healthy. Um, so I've been, last week I did all my workouts in the morning, um, before it got too hot and I did them outside, but I just did like 15, 20 minute workouts. Cause I just, I was just like drenched in sweat just from that short 15 to 20, my, just from my short 15 to 20 minute workouts, even when I didn't even get my heart rate up that high, my strength workouts. But anyways, I was, I'm still committed to my fitness goals. So it was really important to me that I get up at a decent time and really get my workout clothes on, get my button gear and get outside and get working and also make sure I have water with me readily available. So anyways, I hope you guys are staying cool. Um, okay. So this morning I want to talk about something that comes up, a topic that comes up quite often in my health coaching practice, my personal training practice, and really just when I'm having conversations with people out and about. Um, and I have, I hear from so many people that they say, I can't afford to eat healthy. And first of all, my first question is always like, what's your definition of eating healthy? Like, what does eating healthy look like for you? I feel like it's really important for you, you to de define that for yourself because it looks different for everyone. While, yes, I'm a big proponent of eating whole, real, nutrient-dense foods, preferably 100% of the time, but I know it's not realistic. It's not realistic in my life. In our home, we don't eat whole, real, nutrient-dense foods 100% of the time. I can tell you that right now, and and that's okay. So really, I want the first first thing you need to do is sit down. Like, what does it look like to you? To, for you to eat healthy. So define that. And then I want you, I encourage you to think about this, like think about, okay, the, the phrase eating healthy is expensive and I can't afford it. Okay. Let's, uh, fast forward 10 years. Okay. Um, you're diagnosed with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and type 2 diabetes. Now, this is the extreme, okay? One or all three of them. Um, and now, all of a sudden, you're taking three different medications. Three different medications. And you have to constantly go to your doctor, get tested, kind of see how those medications are working, adjust them. So you're spending money on office visits, and you're spending money on medication, so just think about that and depending on your health insurance and also who knows what our healthcare program will look like in 10 years. We don't know, you know, it's changed so much over the years um, that we don't know what it'll look like. It could be the same, it could be better and it could be worse. We could be more out of pocket. We could have more out of pocket expenses. So just something to consider. I just encourage you to really think about that. While I don't want you to focus solely on the future and what may or may not happen, I encourage you to just have it rolling in the back of your mind. So that's, of course, worst case scenario. So let's, you know, go back to the present time and focus on like what healthy eating looks like for you and how can you make that happen with the resources that you have, the resources meaning time, money, and uh, equipment in your kitchen. This is super important, but I won't go into that. And if you want to check out my um, cooking equipment essentials video, just go over to my YouTube channel and the video list, and it's on there. 
Um, that's a really great one. Um, and if you need more advice, reach out to me. So what, what are uh, two things that you could do? Two things, just two things. I'm going to give you two things this morning. So the first one is cut back on something that is not good for your health. It could be soda. It could be chips. It could be cookies. It could be anything, anything like that. Choose one thing and cut back on it. Eliminate it altogether if you want, or just simply cut back on it. So for example, if you're a soda drinker, and I use soda as an example so often because I feel like there's so many people still drinking soda, even though it's full of chemicals. I mean, I have cleaned my toilet with Coke before. Not cocaine, just to be clear, Coke as in Coca-Cola, okay? And it works amazing to clean your toilet. And I'm like, whoa, I don't want to be putting this stuff in my body. Um, so anyways, my point being like soda is just really bad for you and it amazes me how many people still drink it. Um, but a lot of that is because, you know, we're not educated, not, we're not fully educated on, um, the negative effects it has on our body and it's cheap. You know, when you want something cold and fizzy, especially now during the summer, oh my gosh, it feels, and it's, it feels so good to drink it. It's so refreshing. So I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I used to be a soda drinker, a heavy soda drinker. So I get it. I understand, but focus on eliminating that. Maybe cut back to one a day, you know, or, you know, if you drink it by the can, maybe cut back. Like if you drink like four cans a day, maybe cut back to three or two or one. If you drink a liter of soda a day, cut back to half a liter, you know, just slowly do that. And when you start doing that, I promise you, you will see a difference on your pocketbook and on your waist, you know, or wherever on your body you carry most of your fat. Okay. And I mean fat in the sweetest way. We all have fat on our bodies and we really want to burn fat and gain lean muscle mass rather than losing overall weight. Focus on that. So anyways, that's a education on a whole nother Monday morning coffee video. But, um, so yeah, so you'll do that. So eliminate one thing. It could be bread too. Like bread is so cheap, but maybe replace it with something healthier you know, with like veggies or, um, I was just talking with someone the other day and, um, she was saying how she's like, yeah, maybe I can, I'm a chip eater. I love eating my chips, but maybe I should replace it with something like carrots. Cause it's like you sit down and think about, and this is what I do when I'm working with a client. Um, especially one-on-one, -on -one, this is really beneficial, is like, what is it about the chips that you like? You know, for some people, it's the salt. For some people, it's the greasiness. For some people, it's the crunch. So if it's the crunch, just replace it with carrots, you know, or celery. Or celery doesn't have a lot of nutrients, but it's better than chips. It's a good replacement if you need to replace it with something. So really focus on that. Like, what do you need to replace it with? Um, what can you replace it with that's a health, healthy or a healthier version of that? Um, and then the second thing I want to talk about is like, wh where are you spending? Where's your money going every month? I know there's been so many times when I'm like, like this was, you know, a long time ago. I've really worked hard to change my money mindset and to really manage my money better and more efficiently over the last 10 years or so. Um, but there were times when I'm like, where's my money going? Like, how do I not have any money at the end of the month? I make X amount. My bills are this month. How do I not have any money? I should have money left over. Like really track your spending for an entire month, an entire 28 days, 30 days, you know, four weeks. Where does all your money go? Like track every single penny you spend, whether it's gas, food, 
you know, shelter, water, whatever it is, insurance, car payment, anything, and focus on where you can cut back. Oftentimes, we just spend money and we don't know. It's so easy these days to just swipe our card, you know, or buy stuff on the internet that we don't necessarily need. So really do that and just don't change anything, okay, this first month. Don't change anything. Just spend like you usually do so you can really get a good picture and then sit down and evaluate, you know. If I'm working with a coaching client and, you know, this, while money is not my expertise, um, I'm not a financial planner or anything, I'm more than happy to sit down with someone and kind of go over their finances if they're comfortable with me. Because that's the whole purpose of a coach is to help guide you through this process. So I'm here to coach you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to coach you. So um, anyway, so those two things like figure out what you can eliminate and replace with a healthier food and then go over your finances you know do those two things after you've defined what healthy eating looks like for you and really taking into consideration like what's the future going to look like for my health and for my money my pocketbook so All right, guys, I hope this helps and I hope you're inspired by it. Um, You can do this. I believe in you. Um, I actually just want to say one more thing that popped into my head. Um, I get that eating clean and whole real food can be difficult for some people who make minimum wage or, you know, restaurant workers who make below minimum wage and rely very heavily on tips because it's upside down, it's backwards. So the government subsidizes the processed food. That's why it's so cheap. That's why fast food is so cheap. And what they need to do is start subsidizing the, the farmers and the ranchers, you know, the, f- the whole food, the fruit, the vegetables, um, you know, the, the meats and the seafoods and the healthy whole foods to help you um, to help nourish your body. And so it's more affordable to more people. So, all right, I'm going to end there and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. We have so many more videos in the works. I'm super excited for September's Monday morning coffee videos. Ooh, I'm so excited. They're going to be so great. And Um, also if you have a friend, family member who is just thinking, considering, you know, improving their health, if they, or they're ready or they're almost ready, then, um, send them a couple of my videos that resonate with you that they may, may relate to. And I'd love to talk with them and share as much information as I can. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk talk to you guys soon. Cheers.